Happy Monday. How are you today? Good. I'm good too. My name is Teacher Lauren. If you were here last week, hello and welcome back. If you were not here last week, welcome and nice to meet you. Today, we are going to practice our English. Doesn't that sound fun? Okay, good. Well, because it's the morning, I like to start with a song. Then I can sing and get ready to learn. Do you know the hello song? It's okay if you don't. It's very, very easy. You just listen and repeat. Okay? Listen and sing. All right, let's try. I go to school. I meet my friends. I meet my friends. And we all say. And we all say. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm good, I'm great. How about you? about you. Good. See? It's pretty easy. Hey, you just have to listen and repeat. Okay, let's try again. Every day, every day, I go and play. I go and play. I meet new friends. I meet new friends. And we all say, and we all say, Hello, 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 hello. What's your name? What's your name? Nice, nice, to you. You. nice to meet you. Do, Do you want to play? play? Hello, 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 hello. hello, hello. What's, What's your name? name? What's your name? Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to you. Do, Do you want, want to play? play? dance to this part if you want. Wow. That was great. That was really, really good. I heard you singing and it sounded amazing. Perfect. Okay, now we are awake and we are ready to practice a little more. Now, I want to tell you about my friend, May. Let's go find out about my friend, May. Come on. Okay. Can you read this with me? Maybe we can read together. Let's try. This is May. She is 10 years old. She's tall and thin. She has long brown hair. She has brown eyes. She can sing and dance. She can't 
swim. Her favorite toy is a doll. It's pink. She has a blue kite. She has a yellow ball too. Okay, now let's look at these words. Okay. Hmm. She's tall and thin. Well, let's look over here at our pictures and maybe it will help us. Tall, tall, where is tall? Ah, look here. Short, tall, short, tall. So, this is May. She's tall, good. She has long brown hair. Long, short. Long, short. May has long brown hair. Okay, cool. She has brown eyes. Let's look here at our eye colors. Okay. Down the bottom, we have green eyes. Then we have blue eyes. And we have brown eyes. May has brown eyes. Okay, excellent. What's next? She can sing and dance. Sing and dance. Okay, let's look. Sing, sing. Ah, right here. Sing. La, 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 la. We were singing at the beginning of class. This is an easy one. Okay, good, she can sing and she can dance. Who is dancing? Ah, right here. Look, two kids dancing together. So, May can sing and she can dance. Okay. Good, what's next? She can't swim. Hmm, here. This little girl is swimming. But May cannot swim. No, no. Can you swim? Cool, me too. Okay, what's next? Her favorite toy is a doll. A doll like this right here. That's a doll. Good. What color is the doll? Did you say pink? That's correct. It's a pink doll. She is wearing a pink dress with pink shoes and a pink bow. Okay. What else? She has a blue kite. 
What's a kite? Let's look at the pictures. <gasps> look at this. This is a kite. When it is very windy, you take your kite and fly in the air. Do you like to fly kites? I do. It's a lot of fun on a windy, windy day. Okay, one more thing. A yellow ball. That's easy. Here's the yellow ball here. Okay, now let's answer some questions. Number one, what's her name? Her name is May. Okay, excellent. Number two, how old is she? Well, let's look. She is 10. <gasps> Remember, 10. So we can write, she is 10 years old. Perfect. Next question, number three. Has she got black eyes? Well, let's look at the picture. Remember, we put a circle around May's eye color. I see a circle. Those eyes are not black. They are brown. So, for number three, we can say, no, she has brown eyes. See, she has brown eyes. Okay, great. Number four, has she got short hair? Hmm, short hair, long hair, short hair, long hair. What does it say? She has long brown hair. <gasps> long, not short. So we can say, no, she, has long hair. Okay, very nice. Number five. Is she tall? Well, remember, look at the picture. Tall, short. Tall, short. May is tall. So, is she tall? Yes. Perfect. Number six. Is she fat? Hmm. Let's look at the picture. Thin, fat. Thin, fat. May is tall and thin. So she is not fat. She is thin. Okay, what's the answer? No, she is thin. Okay, number seven, is her doll blue? 
where's the doll? Right here. Blue? No, pink, remember? Pink, 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 everything pink. So for number seven, we want to say, no, her doll is pink. Good. Okay. Number eight. Is her ball blue? No. This is her ball, remember? Not blue. Yellow. So, let's write the answer. Is her ball blue? No. Her ball is yellow. Okay. Number nine. Can she swim? Remember, she cannot swim. It says it right here. She can't swim. So we say, no, she can't. That's it. Okay, number 10. Can she sing? She can, remember, the singing bird. So what's the answer? Yes, she can. Okay, excellent. We answered all of the questions about May. Number 11, draw and color her toys. Well, let's find her toys. First, we have her doll. So let's put the doll over here. Okay, two more toys. We have a blue kite. Okay, let's put that over here. And one more, a yellow ball. So let's put the ball in the box. Three toys, pink doll, blue kite, yellow ball. Okay, very nice, look at that. We answered all the questions about May. And we typed or we wrote our answers here on the page. Thank you for helping me with that. Nice job. Okay, let's try something else. I saw some opposites on this page, like tall and short, thin or fat. We should learn some more opposites. Let's see. Look at this list here. We have many pictures and many, 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 many words. So let's try to use these words and put them on the pictures. Okay, let's try. Hmm, okay, word number one, fat. Which picture 
is something or someone that. Here? No. Aha! That. Good. Did you see? Okay, let's add. So I want to take this and move this over here. Or I can draw F. A T. Okay. So we have fat and what was the opposite of fat? Fat and thin. Perfect. Look on our list. I see thin. Let's cross it out and write it next to fat. T H I N. Fat and thin. Okay. Let's try another one. Hmm, okay. Let's look at the second one. What's this one here? Ugly. Ugly. When something is ugly, you do not like to look at it. Ugly. Which picture here looks ugly to you? Hmm, is this ugly? No. Maybe. Ah. Do you see the green witch? Maybe the green witch is a little ugly. Let's try. U. G. L. Y. Ugly. Blech. Okay. What is the opposite of ugly? Do you know? Beautiful. Pretty. Let's see if we can find these words. Hmm. I don't see pretty. But I see beautiful. Okay. Let's try crossing it out. Cross, 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 cross. Let's write beautiful. This is a long one. Get ready. You can help. B. E. A. U T I F U L Beautiful Excellent So we have fat and thin Ugly and beautiful Excellent job well, I think we have no more time today, but that's all right. A few more? Okay, we have time for a few more. Let's try. Okay. I know you really like your adjectives, so you're ready to try a few more. Let's look at the next one. Soft. Soft. Something that is soft feels very nice to the touch. So let's look. 
What can you see here that is soft? Hmm. Maybe a soft turtle? No. A soft snake? Hmm. Oh. How about the pillow? Right? Very soft when we go to sleep. Perfect. So, we are going to cross out soft and we are going to write soft under the pillow. S O F T soft. Okay. Now, in this picture, I see a rock. A rock is not soft. What is the opposite of soft? Maybe something hard. Yeah, soft and hard. Do you see hard? On our word list? I see it right here. Okay, so we should cross out hard. Cross, cross, cross. And write it under the rock. H A R D soft hard opposites excellent okay what's next on the list old old Ooh, which one is old? Maybe we can find a person that looks old, like a grandmother or a grandfather. Hmm. Old ice cream? No. Old rabbit? No. Ah! Right here. It's an old man. Perfect. Okay, remember, cross out old, cross, 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 and write it here under the picture. O L D. Okay. So now, what is the opposite of old? Your grandfather or grandmother, they are old. But you are not old. You are young. Young. Let's find it. Right here. Young. So let's cross it out and write it under the picture. Y O U N G. Okay. Look at this. We have one, two, three, and four. We completed four. Excellent, excellent job. Thank you for helping me with that. Adjectives and opposites are really fun. We did four. If you come back 
tomorrow, we can finish. Does that sound fun? Okay, good. Well, thank you for helping me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.